How you see yourself will determine how far you can get to in life and what you can attain and cannot attain. Let me explain how important your self-identity is to your walk with God. Your self-identity is everything. How you see yourself will be the, the essence of how you talk to yourself, how you talk to others, how you see others. So who are you being in this moment is what's going to attract people and things into you because you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are. Scripture tells us, whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart and believes that he will become. Now, regardless whether it's what you want to become or not, if you believe that's who you are being, then that's what you're going to get. For example, if you're sitting here being a victim in that victim mentality, you're going to attract to you people and circumstances that will reinforce that belief about you of you being a victim. But if you start to take back your power and be like, okay, life is not happening to me, but it is happening for me. There is a lesson that I need to learn in all of this and no one on the outside of me can determine how far I can get to. Then you start taking back your power and putting it back in yourself, understanding that everything is happening to bring you to your highest good and greatest joy. So if you don't like who you are being today, then fear not because you can always change your identity at any given moment by transforming your mind. Scripture tells us, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And if you are struggling with the transformation of your mind, then check out my three-day workshop that is linked in the bio, which will help you shift your identity into the person you have always wanted to be in order to attract the things you have always wanted to attract.